Excellency Li Qing, Premier of the People's Republic of China, Excellencies Head of State and Government, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, I am very pleased to attend the opening ceremony of China ASEAN Expo for the first time today. For the 20th anniversary of the Expo and the 10th anniversary of the Belt and Road Initiative, I extend my sincere congratulations. Amid global uncertainties, holding the China ASEAN Expo is significant in forging closer and harmonious regional relations and helping to promote sustainable development. Above all, it shows that cooperation combined with free and open trade is the only path to peace and shared prosperity. We enjoy excellent cooperation through ASEAN-led regional architecture. This includes ASEAN-China Free Trade Agreement, ASEP, and many bilateral trade agreements. Within these frameworks, this expo is a concrete activity that creates synergies to increase trade between ASEAN and China. We are all very proud that ASEAN-China trade reached $722 billion last year. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, when COVID upended the world, movements of people declined, but we saw firsthand that movements of good continue to flourish. In 2021 and 2022, trade in goods even exceeded pre-pandemic levels, highlighting the essential roles of commerce in ensuring socioeconomic security of the people around the world. As the pandemic subsides, we face new challenges such as rising commodity prices, food insecurity, and climate change. Here, I would like to highlight the important role of trade in tackling these global challenges to ensure that interdependence and globalization are mutually beneficial. Trade should not be used as a weapon that undermine global economic security. In this sense, ASEAN and China are key players. We can show the world examples of tangible benefits of strengthening multilateral cooperations without leaning towards protectionism, unilateralism, or economic nationalism. Going forward, ASEAN and China need to reinforce our cooperation and interdependence by further opening markets and improving connectivity, supply chain resilience, supply link production capacity, and trade facilitations. We also need to work together to promote two-way investments. In addition, we should strengthen technical support, especially in complying with market requirements and demands. Such support will help ensure that developing country truly benefit from market opening result from multilateral trading mechanisms. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, under the new mandate of the Royal Government of Cambodia, I'd like to reiterate our continued efforts to improve our business and investment climate by cutting costs and improving the efficiency of transport and logistics. Our aim is to raise productivity to meet the needs of all investors. Cambodia is deeply committed to collaborating with all government and private sector stakeholders in the regions to support trade activities that have addressed regional and global challenges. Finally, I am confident that the 20th China ASEAN Expo will run smoothly and achieve fruitful results and wish Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, a good health and success in your endeavors. Thank you. Thank you very much. Samdak Maha Baba Tapaday Hun Manai Prime Sadakin Cambodia. 
Now may I have the honor to invite His Excellency Son Sai Sumfandong, Prime Minister of the Lao PDR, 